In this video, I'm going to be going over what you should be looking for in an omega-3 supplement and how much you should be taking. So, first of all, I'm not going to go over the benefits. I am going to leave a link in the description box so you can have a look. But I imagine most of the people watching this are going to be taking an omega-3 supplement anyway. The first thing is looking for an omega-3 supplement is to go for an omega-3 only supplement. The reason being that the reason we need to supplement is because in the Western diet we tend to be high in omega-6 and 9. So if you're going to get an omega-3, 6 and 9 supplement, you are not going to be improving that ratio like we need to be. So the next thing we need to look at is the EPA and DHA of our supplement. So you can see it on here. So we have 500 EPA and 250 DHA. So combined that makes 750. So ideally, dosage wise, we wanna be aiming for around two to three grams of combined EPA and DHA a day. So one of those is 0.75. Now, your average fish fillet that is high in omega-3, so things like uh, sardines, mackerel, salmon, cod, um, anchovies, things like that, they are going to be, they're going to have around about a gram of combined EPA and DHA, which means you still need to supplement on top of that unless you're obviously having two or three a day. So at the moment, I'm having fish every day, so I'm aiming for around two of these which is going to give me 1.5 grams plus the fish I'm having is going to be around two to three grams however the majority of omega-3 supplements only have 0.3 so whereas this has 0.75 grams per capsule most retail will have 0.3 so bear that in mind so go for a good quality like this one this one's actually quite expensive but I only take perhaps two or three a day to reach my daily allowance whereas with the cheaper ones you're going to have to have sort of you know six to ten just to reach your allowance so bear that in mind spend a little bit more but also for the macro counters out there each one of these does actually count as a gram of fat so that is nine calories so for me I can take two of these that's two grams of fat that's fine whereas if I went for a cheaper version it would be like six to eight grams of fat. So when I'm on, you know, perhaps 50 grams of fat a day, I'm definitely gonna to wanna to spend the extra money and get a supplement that has a higher percentage of EPA and DHA. So that's my little bit on omega-3. So hopefully now you're gonna take a look and make sure you're getting the right dosages. Um, check the links in the descriptions, gonna give you a little bit more information and, and some more research and stuff like that. And make sure you like and subscribe if this has helped you. So thanks for watching.